So just a few days ago, I released a video asking what did people want to see me do first. Predicting Splatoon 3 or predicting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate times Mortal Kombat 11. I did an Instagram po and post and I did a video asking what people wanted. And I got more votes on predicting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate times Mortal Kombat 11. So that's what's going to come first. So... Here's every here's all the Mortal Kombat 11 content we could get in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or at least all the Mortal Kombat content anyway. So first of all, which Mortal Kombat character do I want as a fighter? Well, I decided to go with Scorpion because he's the most popular Mortal Kombat character, and and he just fits he just fits really well for for Smash Brothers, or at least of all the Mortal Kombat characters. I think Scorpion is honestly the best choice. So, I'll just tell you when I think he could be revealed. Maybe at, like, the Game Awards, they could, like, reveal some, some of the Mortal Kombat related. Like, they could release a trailer of just Scorpion and Raiden just fighting. And, like, it's really similar to the first trailer when it was revealed at the Game Awards at 2018. But, but something's different where Scorpion just uppercuts Raiden into the sky. And then Scorpion turns around and sees Mario walking in the original 8. So, then he clutches his fist and then says, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Times Mortal Kombat 11. Or at least Mortal Kombat anyway, so. Maybe, they could, of course, we'll get a presentation on that. And it will actually reveal Scorpion gameplay. Because it would just be a small teaser just letting everyone know Scorpion's going to be in Smash Brothers. It would actually show some gameplay. And here's all the Mortal Kombat. So, I already thought of it. Uh, name tag anyway um scorpion joins the combat so so I'll, now i'll talk about scorpion's moveset but i'm not going to talk about all of it because most of the moves i didn't even think about because i don't play mortal Kombat, but i i love the games but i never played it mostly because i'm not old enough to um i mean i did play a tiny bit of it when i was at at my neighbor's house like a few years ago I, we played x together and and, but we had to stop because his Xbox crashed. Or at least his Xbox One, anyway. I mean, so actually, before I talk to him about the moveset, I'll tell you how Scor why Scorpion would actually get in. Because, as you may know, Mortal Kombat 11 is on Nintendo Switch. So that pretty much gives Scorpion a bigger chance to join Smash Brothers. Also, that's not the only Mortal Kombat game on Nintendo console. Armageddon is on the Wii. And I think the first Mortal Kombat game they released was probably in... An SNES version of the original. Correct me if I'm wrong. So now I'll talk to you about what his move set could be. I'll only talk about the specials and a neutral attack. So I should point out that like Ryu Ken and Terry in a one v one fight, who always faces opponent. I'll just point that out. So her neutral attack, maybe he could just do three punches like, and but if you hold the button, it he'll just do a kick. Um, for a neutral special, it could be a, a spear. And, of course, he'll say, get over here. And then he grabs the opponent. And if you press the button again, you can actually do an uppercut. But if you hold the button, and if you actually launch the button, like, get over here. And if you actually hold it, then he actually do a spear spin where he goes up in the air and then flings him down to the ground. Uh, for a side special, I was thinking we could do leg takedown where he just slides on the ground and actually takes the opponent down and then for an up special it could be flame port the flame port he basically just teleports um but there will be a, some small flames that can do some attack um now before i mentioned the down special i was thinking for a back special because like he could be like terry have a back special being fireball he just launches a fireball and then for a down special i was thinking toasty where if you, you just, or it's just basically just Scorpion's regular fatality in the original Mortal Kombat, which became a brutality in Eleven, where he basically just take off his mask and actually, actually just launch some fire. And I was actually thinking, if you're in a stamina battle, it can actually KO an opponent extremely early. If you like, but it'd be one in a thousand chance of that happening. Like, there's no way that's going to happen, but it would be extremely rare for that to happen. As rare as a uh, whack taking you down at 0%. So, I'll 
and by the way, in case you're wondering, I, I was just thinking, like, maybe some of the attacks could be just swords and all that, but like I said, I never play Mortal Kombat, so I barely know any of it, or what the moves I could be, um, I actually did think of smash attacks, like, maybe for a smash attack, you can do a punch, and then stab the sword down into the ground for, an, for his side slash neutral smash attack, for an up smash could be an uppercut, and his down could be a flame aura. And for a, smile, for a final smash, it could be called Your Next, where it's basically one of his fatalities, but except it's, there's no blood in it. So so for Scorpion, he actually just performs a, his fatality that was shown in his reveal trailer, where he, instead of actually gunning the opponent and actually getting, like, getting rid of the opponent's stomach except for his bone, actually just launches them up into the sky instead of decapitating them or instead of making them pop their head off, like, whoo, whee! Instead of doing that, um, um, it'll actually just do a tiny slice. And then he just does a kick, and then, and then he'll throw a spear. But instead of, of it stopping, it'll go like, oh, that was a cringy face. I apologize. Actually, I'll just show you this. Um, maybe, he could, like, the spear could just, just hit them in the head, and that'd be it. And then they say fatality, and then it goes back to the fight. But only one opponent can get stuck in it, though. I have I don't know anything up for taunts. Like maybe his taunts could be like, huh. and then his next one would say, "You will suffer." And for a down, it could just be throwing a spear on the ground. Next up for a stage is I did I decided to go with one I thought would be best: Chain Song's Island Ruins. Uh, Shane Zahn, he was his DLC from Mortal Kombat 11, and he was the first final boss in the original Mortal Kombat. I don't think he should be his favorite, though. It's basically just a flat surface with no platforms or anything. Except for some st some stuff that I can pick up in the background and throw. But, yeah. Now I was thinking some characters could make cameos. Like, for example, Kano! Liu Kang! Raiden, Johnny Cage, not Scorpion because he's a fighter, Sub-Zero, Sonya, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, um, so besides them, who else was I thinking could make a cameo? Um, so I already mentioned Sub-Zero, Raiden, Liu Kang, Sonya, Kano, and Johnny Cage. I was also thinking Shane Sung could also make an appearance, like, oh. Like, most of the Mortal Kombat 11 characters would make cameos, so... Same goes with Baraka. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what that voice was. Um, Baraka, Kitana, Jackson Brid Briggs, Kun Lao, Jade, Shao Kahn, Noob Saibot, Nightwolf, Cabal, Sindel... Who was this Mortal Kombat? Um, Frost... Who was um, Scarlet, Kathy Cage, Jackie Briggs... Aaron Black, yes, even Devora, Kotal Khan, Collector, Gears, Cetrion, and Kronika. So basically, all the Mortal Kombat 11 characters are, are, that are actually Mortal Kombat characters. Not Spawn, Joker, the DC Joker anyway, and Terminator. I mean, they won't count because they're originally from movies slash comics. So they don't count as Mortal Kombat characters, so they won't make a, an appearance in the back. So, and depending on the song, will be who appears in the background. Um, and speaking of music, I'll tell you, I'm thinking there will be 11 tracks. Because since it's Mortal Kombat 11, there could be 11 tracks, right? Right? And of all these tracks, only one of them is from the original Mortal Kombat, and that's actually the only new remix. I'm thinking the original Mortal Kombat theme can actually be the, the a new remix. I don't like it, it could sound like Lil V's Mills um cover of the song. That's why I think it should sound like with some violin tied into it. And now for other stage music, all the rest is from Mortal Kombat Eleven, um A Matter of Time, Tournament Theme, Cage Match, T High Kin or High Tin Lost Hive, Colos Coliseum, Tank Garage Bunker, Black Dragon Fight Club, Special Forces Desert Command. Chainstone's Island Ruins, and Kronika's Hourglass. Those are the music tracks I'm predicting will be in Mortal Kombat, or the Mortal Kombat music I'm predicting will be in Smash Brothers. So, now I'll just get all this sorted out. Um, 
And now for costumes, I'm thinking it could come for Scorpion. So his second costume would be blue based on Sub-Zero. Um, the red would be based on Ermac. Uh, player 4 could be green, representing Reptile. The purple would represent Rain. The white would represent Smoke. Player 7 could be the black costume based on Noob Cybot. And the last costume would be his classic costume in Mortal Kombat 11. Or at least the past Scorpion. The Scorp Scorpion's actual design in more in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate could be his or will be his future design, or at least the future Scorpion in the game, or Grandmaster Hasashi. Whatever you want to say is going to be the same character. Um, and now for the classic. Um, so round one you'll fight Captain Falcon. Round two, which will represent Giant Cage. Round two, Zero Suit Samus. You'll have to fight, um, Sonya. Player. So round three, you'll fight Wolf representing Kano. Round four, you'll fight Ridley representing Reptile. Round five, Sheik, which will represent Katana. Round six will be Ryu, which will represent Liu Kang. The final boss will be Dracula, which will represent Shane Son. Now for me costumes. Um, I'm predicting four Mortal Kombat costumes, being Kano for a brawler, Jax for a brawler, Jade for a sword fighter, and Aaron Black for a gunner. I mean, and I was also thinking a bonus costume, which isn't from Mortal Kombat, but could also come with the uh, characters being a uh, Master Chief costume. Uh, Master Chief is from Halo, could be a gunner outfit. I would rather have him as a gunner than a fighter. It would come with a Halo theme remix. And now for spirits, um, I actually meet a family spirit board on here. Uh, you can't really see it, but... Uh, here we go. A family spirit board I made, so so I'll first off with the spirits. So Johnny Cage, um of course the theme cage match will play. Uh you'll have to fight Captain Falcon. Um I don't know I actually did not think of any state I actually forgot to think about stages for the characters. I forgot about stages. Like whichever stage looks like a movie set the most could be the stage where you have to fight Johnny Cage. Like whichever stage looks like a movie set the most is where you have to fight him. Um, so, next up is Sub-Zero, where you have to fight Ice Climbers. Um, um, by the way, I'll, I forgot to mention, um, Johnny Cage is a novice support spirit. Um, so if you get him, it'll make your PSI attack stronger. Um, by the way, I'm thinking of two fighter spirits for Scorpion. His Mortal Kombat 11 future design is classic costume. So basically, two fighter spirits for Scorpion. Next up is a primary shield advanced spirit, Sub Zero. You're at to fight Ice Climbers. Um, so Cage Match will play for Giant Cage and for for Sub Zero. Actually, I haven't thought about me a song for Sub Zero. Um, let's see, there's for the spirit board. I'm thinking a matter of time could play while well. you think of which spirit you want to fight. Um, Hi Tin Lost Hive. Maybe that song could play when you fight the Sub Zero. I mean, like I said, I haven't thought of songs. Um, but I'm thinking that could be the song for Sub Zero. Um the Shield Spirit, and if you get it, of course it would be advanced. Um next up is a novice grab spirit. Um Sonya Blade, you have to fight Zero Sid Samus. Um, forgot to mention Sub Zero, which are maybe summit, I guess, for Sub Zero. I don't know. Um Sonya Blade, maybe whichever stage looks like a Military basis the most. Like whichever stage looks like tank garage bunker or special forces desert command. Which, like whichever stage looks like one of two of them the most is where you have to fight Sonya. Uh, you have to fight Zerus Samus. And of course, the song and for song tank garage bunker is the song that will play when you fight Sonya. Next up is a uh, is a support a spirit where you have to fight raiden i was thinking that you should fight hero with the drank with the alternate drank quest 4 costume uh who just do side specials you're that or pick you could you fight he hero or pikachu you pick so raiden um so he'll be his design will be his future design like his future self when he chose a darker path like with red lightning black clothes you know, the usual, um, and the song, I was thinking Kronika's Hourglass could play when you fight Raiden, 
If you get his spirit, it's a support spirit, Psy Special will be stronger. Next up is a advanced spirit, um, Liu Kang. Uh, Liu Kang is the advanced attack primary spirit. Um, you have to fight Ryu. The tournament theme will play. The tournament theme will play if you fight Liu Kang, or yeah, or at least Ryu will have Liu Kang's spirit inside him. And by the way, Liu Kang can be enhanced. So I actually made a fun little picture, like a fan collage or something. Uh, so, so Liu Kang can be enhanced at level 99, so it's the advanced, and it will be enhanced into an A spirit, and it can be enhanced into Fire God Liu Kang. It makes your fire and explosion attack stronger. So, it basically makes you, so basically Fire God Liu Kang, well, not to give out any spoilers, but, um, um, Raiden and Liu Kang become one at the end of Mortal Kombat 11, and, yeah. And yeah, Fire God Liu Kang is the enhanced Liu Kang. So Liu Kang can be enhanced into Fire God Liu Kang. And this is what it looks like again. I hope you like this because this took me a while to make this. Like seriously, like the Spirit Boy and the enhancing for Liu Kang and all that, it took me a while to make. Okay, um... So like I said, the tournament theme will play you have to fight Ryu for Liu Kang. Um I was originally with thinking Sheik, but then uh, after realizing it, Liu Kang would look more like a Ryu than a Sheik. Um speaking of Sheik, um the next spirit is a advanced support spirit, Katana, where you do have to fight Sheik. Actually two Sheiks anyway. Uh a dark blue Sheik and a green Sheik, which will represent Jade. Um So the the song that I will play will be Kolo's Coliseum for she were for Katana anyway. It, it's an advanced, um, so if you get it, it will make your your air attack will be stronger. It's a support spirit. Um, and the last spirit is a legend class for a legend spirit. Shao Kahn, you have to fight King DDD. Um, it's a support spirit. Um, it's it's gonna be a bit powerful, so just to warn you, um. So after, if you get the Shao Kahn spirit, um, uh, Shao Kahn, you'll fight your special move power will, will be really strong, like strong, like it will take three spots. Um, by the way, never talked about stages. Um, Raiden, like maybe whichever looks like I guess Chainsaw Island Ruins is where you have to fight Raiden. Um, you know where the tournament, like the original tournament, like whichever looks like Kotal's Coliseum is where you have to fight the Liu Kang and Katana spirit. Um, and Shao Kahn, you'll fight him on Chainsaw Island Ruins. Um, that's pretty much it for spirits. So, so pretty much predicting ten spirits for, for Mortal Kombat, which are Scor the Scorpion Fighter Spirit and the Past Scorpion, um, Shao Kahn, Katana, Liu Kang, which can be enhanced into Fire God Liu Kang, Raiden, Johnny Cage, Sub Zero, and Sonya Blade. So ten Mortal Kombat spirits. Maybe I could have done eleven. Um, that's pretty much it for all the Mortal Kombat content we could get in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, now that I'm finally done with this, I, I'm really thirsty, and I need to go get some water. Um, so, I'm done with all this. I really wish I could tell you all the rest of the Mortal Kombat, like, the rest of the moveset, but that's, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, because it's gonna take a long time. Until next time, Mortal Kombat. I'm sorry if I can't sound quiet in this. I I don't want to sound like I don't want to go too high because I'm because I'm I don't want my voice to crack. I did that on purpose. I don't want my voice to do that, so that's why I sounded kind of quiet in this. All right, I'm gonna go get some water. I'll see you guys next video. Um, by the way, the next video will be predicting Splatoon three. Or at least, um, unless there's a Nintendo Direct, then... And sp predicting Splatoon 3 will happen. There will be three parts. Like, there's, there's like, the weapons, idols, and story modes. Second part will be DLC. Third part will be how Splatoon 3 could be represented in Smash. So, 
now that I'm done with that, um, I'm gonna go now. Um, peace out, Mortal Kombat. Boom.